We're going to start with a single leg RDL ISO with a low trap raise. So you want to find your balance on one leg, pick a spot on the ground to stare at to help you, and you want to sink your hips back as far as you can. Using your arms to kind of counterbalance, we're going to raise them up just like you're doing a shoulder raise in the position of a Y, like you're doing the YMCA. I'm going to show you this from the other view so you can see how far back I sit my hips. Really sit back to try to build tension in your hamstring or glute. And you're just raising your arms up with your thumbs pointed towards the sky in a Y position. You could break this into a set of 10 and switch legs halfway through. Make sure you use very light dumbbells or even a plastic water bottle would be about two pounds. Moving into a pike up, you wanna press the floor away, pull your belly button up in towards your spine as you lean forward onto your hands and try to push your butt towards the ceiling. You wanna maintain that forward lean as much as you can. If it's too much pressure on your wrists, you can rotate your hands so your thumbs are facing forward. For those of you that want a little bit more of a challenge, you can use one foot on your slider. I'm using a furniture mover because they're a lot cheaper. If you're at home, you could throw a towel on the floor, a plastic plate or a paper plate, a frisbee, anything underneath your foot that'll let it slide. This last one is a reverse wall plank. You want to start with your feet somewhere around 6 inches to 12 inches away from the wall and your back flat from belt line to what would be bra line. You're going to press the wall down and behind you. Once you lift your butt away from the wall, you want to pull your shoulders down and back. You should feel this working the back of your arms, or your triceps, and you're going to try to hold here somewhere between 10 to 20 seconds. See if you can get around this circuit three times.